So these are the labs of DDTD. The nonprofit biotech Drugs and Diagnostics for Tropical Diseases, or DDTD, keeps a low profile. It's housed in the offices of another San Diego biotech called Nanocomposites. Here, DDTD's founder, Marco Biamonte, describes their unique mission to develop tests that detect whether someone is infected with worms. The worms that we're interested are those that cause river blindness, um, those that cause lymphatic filariasis where the leg expands and you're completely um, handicapped, and then a third one which is called loa loa. Two of these diseases, loiasis and river blindness, affect up to 58 million people in the developing world, primarily in sub-Saharan Africa. DDTD has developed a small diagnostic tool that looks like a home pregnancy test. A person simply has to prick their finger and put a drop of blood in the device. And if you have the diseases that we're looking at, there's going to be some line that's going to light up and appear. The crucial elements of this test are nanoparticles manufactured by nanocomposites. These microscopic particles act as signaling devices. In essence, they light up when they find a protein shed by the worms. So you can insert the device in this reader. DDTD found a different company to make an attachment for smartphones that reads the test. An app on the smartphone measures the level of infection, captures the GPS coordinates, and sends the information to a global database. Piemonte says this will not only help researchers monitor the spread of these diseases, but it will also help doctors determine what kind of drugs a patient needs. Certain worms lay larvae in your bloodstream. They can lay up to 100,000 larvae per milliliter of blood. Okay. If you have only one or two larvae, you need to have one kind of treatment. If you have 100,000 larvae, you need to have another treatment. Piemonte was born in Switzerland. After he earned his Ph.D. in chemistry at the University of Cambridge in England, he worked at a number of drug companies. His dream was to start his own firm that would focus on neglected tropical diseases. And then at some point I was working for a major pharmaceutical company in San Diego that decided to close the San Diego site. Um, and that for me was just the right opportunity. I just had to do it. It was either live a life of regrets or go for it. Piemonte wanted to have the luxury of working on certain diseases without having to tell investors that they would make money on his projects. So he formed a nonprofit. That enabled me to get uh, a lot of goodwill right from the start. So I received donation of equipment from pharmaceutical companies, from private donors, and I could get started immediately. DDTD was founded in 2011. Shortly after that, Piemonte found a mentor former biotech executive Martin Mattingly. Mattingly advised Biamonte as he developed his business plan and a presentation for potential investors. Mattingly says whether someone is pitching a for-profit biotech or something unique like DDTD, the fundamentals are the same. I mean, they both still require you to convince somebody that what it is you're doing is important and will succeed. Because even if you're donating money like someone would to, to, to this company, still you don't want to donate money if you don't believe they could be successful in producing something. The test for river blindness and loiasis would really fill a need. That's the opinion of Dr. James McCarrow, the dean of UCSD's Skag School of Pharmacy. Unfortunately, these diseases are called neglected because there's really little, if any, interest in the pharmaceutical industry that place where drugs are made um, in these diseases because these are diseases primarily of poor people in poor regions of the world. DDTD received a grant from the CDC in 2013. That enabled Biamonte to prove that his test works. Now he figures he needs to raise about half a million dollars to manufacture his device and get it out in the field. That's chump change in the biotech industry. $500,000 is a drop of water. Uh, yet it's difficult to get it, yeah. Still, Biamonte is confident he'll be able to find the money. In the meantime, he wants to launch his next project, a pill that would protect people from mosquito bites for several days. It would be packaged with malaria medication to keep someone who's infected from spreading the disease to someone else. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.